Hello again, everyone. Brian Ryder, CFP, here with Bill Bowman, CPA and President of Aegis Financial. Well, Bill, yet another positive uh, month of returns for the market. So why don't we start off the video by talking about what we've seen here today? Yeah, Brian, we've really had a good run here in the market since the beginning of the year. We're up about 9.4%. But actually, when you go back to last October, the low of the market, we're actually up 28% from that low. Now, that's five consecutive months of market performance. Yeah, it's always nice seeing those returns, but I think the question on everyone's mind is, will it continue, right? Mm -hmm. So why don't we dive into kind of the positives and the negatives that we see fueling the market? Sure, and here we see that the economy is actually doing really well. We look at the earnings reports from corporations and they've showed up actually pretty good, but it's the guidance for the second half of the year that looks pretty optimistic, actually into 2025. But beyond that, we're also seeing revisions from corporate earnings on the way up as well too. Yep, yeah, and the next big data point that we see as a positive is inflation. Yeah, and here we did talk about inflation kind of ticking up in the first quarter this year, but we are seeing the trend in the right direction. Yeah, and that kind of leads to probably the third biggest one is the Fed's dovish stance. We did see the Fed meet recently and they did clarify that they were gonna be accommodative and reduce rates this year. Right, and we'll get into the Fed a little bit more later in the video, but. Um, let's talk about another positive that we see in terms of valuations. Well, Brian, when we look across the market, the tech sector has been overvalued here for a while, but the broad spectrum of the market is still pretty attractive. Yeah, and that's what's interesting about Fed is, yes, it's overvalued, but their earnings keep, keep coming back as positive. Um, the other thing that we're not seeing is a shift into defensive sectors. Here we would think that if the market is going to be shifting to another direction, that we would think the defensive sector would start to take up in investments. Correct. As, as more of the, the fear creeps into the market, people look for safety, right? That's so right. Let's get into some of the negatives. So Brian, the first thing we want to look at is the bullish sediment that's in the market right now. And to maintain that bullish sediment, we need employment numbers to stay strong. The second thing is the underlying belief that the Fed gets us into a soft landing. And if that changes and that sediment moves into a recessionary period, we could see a movement in the market. Right. And there's there's certainly other leading economic indicators that are flashing warning signs. Uh, probably the next big one, uh, the next big concern is what the Fed actually does. Yeah, and here we're really concerned about their timing. If they're too early or too late, do they stall the economy or do they push us into more inflation? Right, and this this all comes amid an election year as well. Yeah, an election year is kind of a wild card where in the past videos we talked about how the market has done well in those years, but there's a lot to go through between now and November. Yep. Yeah, and one of the other things that's been in the news lately is credit card delinquencies. Yeah, and we have seen those tick up. Now, we're starting to see a, a slight trend in there. It hasn't got to the point where it's a concern, but we are seeing that trend of increased delinquencies in credit cards. Yeah, and I guess the reason that it's not terribly concerning at this point is that, yes, it's an uptick, but if you look at where they are historically, historically, they're right in line. That's right. Well, Bill, obviously the, the Fed is, is watching everything that we're watching as well. So what do we glean from their stance in their recent meeting? Well, recently in their meeting, they looked at inflation and they're predicting that, infl that inflation would come down slower than it originally anticipated. But they also expect unemployment to not go as high as they anticipated. So both of those would make us think that they're still going to stay the course in reducing rates. Right. And that's where they brought a little additional clarity as, as well when it comes to rate cuts. Yeah, and they did. They do expect us to see a rate cut in June or July this year and then probably two after that. Correct. Well, Bill, given all of all of the discussion, what do we see as the, the real market implications? Well, Brian, at this point, we think the positives outweigh the negatives. But with that being said, there could be some volatility in the short term. Now, if we see market weakness at this point, we would use that as an opportunity to deploy more assets. So if you and your loved one are concerned about if you're positioned well for this market, we would be more than happy to help you.